Tonight we've got a bizarre case of what appears to be scooter rage. Police arrested a man after they say he attacked two scooter drivers, but he didn't get away before a picture was snapped. New Saints Bob Wilson spoke with the driver of one of those scooters. He's live in Hartford with what that driver had to say. Bob? You know, I just started out as a nice day. They're having a family get together. They decided to go to the store to go get a couple of sandwiches. Two guys on two scooters when they came to a light. Court papers tell the story of a close call. Police say it was a hit and run in broad daylight on a busy road in front of a half a dozen witnesses. I don't know what he was thinking. He's pretty enraged, that guy. That guy has been arrested and identified as Kenneth Porter. Police have charged him with everything from reckless driving to evading responsibility. Police say Porter attacked two guys on scooters with his Jeep. We got to the light and the guy kept beeping at us. So, you know, I turned around and asked him, you know, what his problem was. And the passenger didn't really like that too much and, you know, started giving us some gestures through the window. John says that is when the Jeep hit them from behind and pushed their scooters toward the intersection. His friend took this picture to get the Jeep's license plate and the passengers were giving them the middle finger. John says what happened next was crazy. The driver peeled out, crashing into the back end of his scooter. He hit it so hard that it pushed the scooter down the road and it actually like slid across the road and I had already fallen off it. But so you're laying there on the road watching the tires go by you with your scooter dragged exactly, underneath. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and there was nothing I could do at that point. Now, in case you're not familiar with Vernon, this is the Hartford Turnpike right here. It is a very busy four-lane road and that's where the accident happened right over there. Now, John says that when he got hit from behind on his scooter and spun into oncoming traffic, he saw tires whizzing by him. But in the police report, it says that a good Samaritan used her vehicle to block traffic, keeping everybody safe. He's thankful for the people around him and the witnesses that stopped. I do feel kind of lucky, um, just knowing that there were so many nice people there. We had three written witnesses. Um, people chased him down the highway, stuff like that. I'm really glad that I didn't get hurt. Now, Kenneth Porter in these court documents tells police he didn't do it. They backed up into him and scratched his bumper, and then when he took off, he went between the scooters. There are witnesses in here who say otherwise. He has been charged with second-degree false statement. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in Hartford, News 8.